Nick, shoot. So somebody who was told um, consistently, do as you're told, if they had been said, do as I'm telling you to, how is that kind of, we got something there? Do as you're told or do as I'm telling you. How does the do as I'm told impact on, on someone? See, well, this we're looking at, uh, can you all hear and see, is that okay? Because I've just shipped, put Nick on this main screen there. So what we're looking at there is some lovely work done by uh, John Bowlby you know, on uh, attachment theory. So it it's key. I mean, I, I could have still been writing family rules. I mean, family rules two was already half written before I'd finished that one. But if we look at attachment theory, which is coming out in, in my next few papers, but while you're a child, your your mum, your dad, your, your your caregivers, all of your existence depends on compliance. So there are things, and Bobby says it beautifully, uh, he said, there are things that your parents wish they didn't know you know. You know what I mean? There's things your mum or your dad did, and they wish you hadn't seen them do it, or they wish they could expunge that from your memory. You know what I mean? When we were kids and so, and our, our mum or dad had a bad day and you're there and, the, and they just, they just want to wash your brain out and pull it out. So I told you, you were just making that up. Now they've looked at cases where kids have like, witness one one young lad witnessed his dad blew his head off with a shotgun so he was probably definitely dead right suicide but the surviving parent tried to expunge tried to clear that by telling the kid no 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 your, your dad died swimming and he said but I said, no, no, you, look, you, you've seen that on television. Your dad died swimming. Your dad died of a heart attack in bed. You, da you see what I mean? So now this is the beginnings of schizophrenia because there's a schism. You see what I mean? There's a crack because I know what I saw, but that parent is no longer present. So I have to trust this parent. So now I'm, I'm in this inner conflict and Freud really went deep on this as well, because he, you know, he looked at uh, memory repression and suppression and, but the beautiful thing that we found with all of the, the greats is all of them acknowledged that that memory was still very active even though the child mightn't be able to see oh my dad told me x or my mum told me what you see what i mean they might not be able to say at what point mum or dad did it or even if they can i'd very much doubt that was the point if you see what i mean because the original point you know when the, the look is installed you know that oh. That look, that, yeah, Jenny's got one. You know, you know what I'm saying? That look, right? Now, when the look was installed, you can't remember because you'd have been much younger. And quick check there, Nick. Right, so that's it. It's still there. Now, you can spend all day looking at it and say, oh, I remember I was two years old. And I'll smile at it and say, probably not. Well, does, does that help? Does that make sense? So it's the threat of, in that moment, we're going to look at neglect.